Well, following award-winning seasons at the Melbourne and Adelaide Fringe Festivals, One Woman Show We May Have to Choose now makes its New Zealand debut. Actor and theatre maker Emma Hall promises to give us no less than 621 opinions. 621 in her 45-minute production. She's with us now in the Harvey Norman Lounge to share some of them. Morning, Emma. Good morning. So hang on, so it's 621 in 45 minutes. At least, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's an incredible amount. Well, I reckon you probably have just as many. I mean, I probably have more than that. I just had to stop at 45 minutes because um, my friends told me that was about as much as people could take. Then we, okay, Emma. <laughs> I would have kept going. Yeah. <laughs> you get to stop and sit down right now. Yeah. So, uh, so you know, most people with their opinions keep them to themselves. So this is a 45 minute oh, show. Oh, this is the problem with the yeah. world. Is You've got to communicate, guys. Right. We've got to get out there. We've Actually, got to talk more. Not on social media, they don't. On social media, they're yeah. all about the opinions. Yeah, and that's kind of what this show is sort of responding to. Like, I just got sort of sick of being bombarded, like in my bedroom or in my living room at home alone with everybody else's opinions, and I wasn't allowed to talk back. And I kind of think that art and theatre should be about like a communal exchange, so mm. I thought, well, I'm just going to make you sit there and listen to me. Right. <laughs> so that's you how the show me. came you about. But I've got to admit, Emma, when people start a statement with me that starts with, in my opinion, I kind of yeah. have that, oh, God, here we go. Yeah, a little part of you dies, right? <laughs> Is you that know, what you do in your show? switch off. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's kind of taking the piss out of that. Like, right. it's a sort of a joke of the idea that the artist has opinions too. That's the other thing that I kind of went to drama school reasonably late in life and so I was sort of older than most of the people I was training with and there were all these like incredibly beautiful and talented 21 year olds who thought that the world had to listen to them and I remember thinking <laughs> like I trained as a bureaucrat like we don't have opinions you know like professionally we just do what we're told. I was going to write a memo in triplicate for somebody. Yeah pretty much pretty much and so I guess I kind of thought it was a sort of joke to think that we go to the theatre to be told what the artist thinks so I'm kind of taking the piss out of myself. I which think. which sounds incredible. Yeah, and I think yeah. it's probably better to start, in my opinion, than no offence. When you start a sentence oh, like that, yes. no yeah, offence, no but the worst, I'm going to say it? something really offensive to you right now. That could yeah. be next year's show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually thought what I was... I thought I was saying some really provocative things, but actually people aren't finding it that way at all because for some reason they're feeling that it's a bit of a conversation. It's just a sort of internal... Like, there's a lot of space in the in the um, show where I pause quite a lot and the audience gets to think about what they think. They just don't get to stand up and, and, say, and it. say it. Right. So, yeah. Do you get people calling you back afterwards saying, I didn't agree with that, I'm going to write to you now because I yeah. didn't have a chance to say it in your show? Um, I have people say, oh, I don't agree with, I don't agree with what you said but I can't remember what that thing was because it was, you know, opinion 24 and they had to listen to another 600 of them or whatever. So um, it's a bit sneaky like that. They kind of forget or they say, oh, have a think about it, I'll get back to you and they never, they never do. <laughs> so uh, you've got to write it down, I guess, taking your pencil On your and hand. paper. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you choose what opinions to cover? Did you break it into segments? Did you, did you just riff it one day when you were writing it? How did you yeah, work it out? Yeah, I just riffed it. Hey, I just started writing. Yeah. And um, <laughs> sort of every chance I got, like I remember being in rehearsals for another show and I had to sort of sit quiet and listen to the director you know all day and then I would come home and just write what I thought about that day um, and I went on for about three weeks and like I said then I thought I, my friend said stop now <laughs> um, but please yeah. even stop so, yeah. so did you find a pattern in that when you were you know when you were writing down your opinions was there a common theme that kept occurring there's there's quite a lot about cleanliness Okay. And like having a clean bathroom, which must have had something to do with the fact that I was living with someone at the time who just never cleaned the bathroom. So oh, I was yeah. obviously oh. like subconsciously think, obsessed with how important it was. I think we've all got opinions about people cleaning the bathroom. Well, no, because yeah. you go into somebody's house for a visit and then you go to their toilet and it says a lot about their... It sure does. Doesn't, doesn't it? it? Yeah, yeah. I, I always think that. You, always can, think that. you can never actually visit me. So what's <laughs> ever, either of you can, because I've got three children. I am three, three boys. boys, yeah. So what sort of things then? What sort of opinions do you have? I'm just curious. Is it all... Political? Uh, no, no. It starts with um, my opinions about um, hot water systems in the house and how to make <laughs> the best toast. Oh, yeah. Um, and then it goes on to music festivals and how they should be set up and um, what people eat in Russia and what I think about that. And I do get a little political. Because um, that's your background, isn't it? Political science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, one of the things that I was upset about in social media is the way I think the this kind of um, culture or habit we've got into of sharing opinions without being spoken back to actually breeds 
hate. I think it becomes mm. easier to hate people because you don't spend human real time with them. So I, for me, one of the themes of the work is the kind of walls that we put up around people that are not like us. Um, so there is that political element about that. Mm. Well, and very timely too with everything that's going on in the world. Thank you so much for coming in, Emma. Have a great season. Emma Hall's One Woman Show. We may have to choose place at Auckland's Fringe until Saturday and then heads to New Zealand's Fringe in Wellington from the 2nd to the 11th of March.